Welcome back, my friends, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make ourselves a double barrel shotgun, and then we're going to do some more work on the base. Uh, so, uh, since the last episode, it's, I don't know, been a day and a half, maybe, and I have, you know, obviously uh, was attacked by the hunters, and uh, they didn't all come at the same time, so we were baby, uh, able to fend them off, didn't uh, cause any major damage, and so yeah, uh, we're kind of back into the normal, I guess the normal cycle now, uh, but I'm not entirely sure when they're all going to come again, um, so it uh, doesn't matter because we're going to stay home uh, today for this episode anyhow. All right, so let's see. Our garden is getting close. I have a couple plants here, looks like, already to harvest, but uh, let's just wait until everything's kind of ready, and then we'll hit all that at once. So the first thing we're going to do is get that shotgun made. I'm so excited to do that. Uh, so we have uh, 218 mass built up, some of that from uh, me feeding sticks into the thing, some of it from me running this. Uh, you'll notice that I put a new, um, another generator down to help support getting the power up, but we have, you know, power's pretty much maxed out at this point other than uh, what's being pulled out from the this in the refrigerator. Okay. Uh, I'm out of chickens, too, so we're going to have to work on that at some point. Uh, but I've got a ton of chickens. I got, I got 11 whole chickens in here waiting to be cooked up into a delicious roast. And we have 12 um, moose rack of ribs or whatever those are. So, yeah, seven eggs. So we're doing really good on food. All right, so let's see how, in fact, why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and make some steak and eggs? Uh, so at least we're going to need, yeah, all three of those. Get those cooking up. Okay, so for our double barrel, we are going to need five boards. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need five ingots. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need 20 of these. Do I have any in here? No, I've been feeding them into the thing. Okay, so we got that. And then, let's see, what else did it want? That's it. Here we go. Double barrel shotgun. Boom, baby. Literally and figuratively. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to upgrade to the double barrel shotgun. We'll retire our normal shotgun. Maybe what we'll do with the normal shotgun is we'll uh, take it and put it in here just to put it on display. Is there a way to unload these? Oh, we need to take that out of there for sure. Um, oh, yeah, unload weapon. <laughs> there sure is. It's the unload weapon option. Okay, cool. So we'll just keep our, our shotgun on display there for now. Um, let's grab this water out of here. Okay, and now I was thinking, we really need, I mean, the flashlight on the weapon is very useful. Don't get me wrong, it's extremely useful, actually. But I'm thinking we need to get a light out there. Um, the thing is, is if we pick up this light, see, we're out of range. So to get a light out there, well, actually... We could put it up, well, yeah... We, we might need to do another BCU extender because really what I'm thinking of is, you know, most of the attacks um, are on this side or just around the corner. So if we put a light, you know, maybe up there and then also one on this side, you know, maybe up here, that would probably give us the light that we would need to combat those guys and then i would also uh, set up a switch you know so that way we're we only turn them on at nighttime or you know when we're under attack at night that might be a better proposition than the flashlight now i love the flashlight like i said and you know we'll keep it with us because we can use that at let's go ahead and just eat that right now uh, we can use that you know whilst we're out and about at night if we have to um so yeah, maybe that's what we should do. BCU extender. What do we need? To, we made one of those. Oh, you know what, though? Actually, I just thought of something. Can we move this? We can't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we might not need that because I moved these closer to the base and it might be covered by the normal one, but... um, Okay. 
So yeah, we'd have to make a new one. I don't think they're that expensive, though. Let's look and see. What is a Beast U extender? Yeah, it does require one ingot and one circuit board, but I mean, that's not that expensive for us to do. So... Yeah, we are... Just a little bit under on the power there. Um, so let's just turn this one on. I'm not I'm not planning on running both generators all the time. Just you know, just when we need to get the power boosted up, uh, or if we run this. Basically, both generators running at the same time with this running. Um, th it still this still uses a little bit more power, but it it's really close. So it basically, keeps my power from dropping way way down while this is on. Um, okay, anyway, so let's grab this out of here and put it in here. Uh, we need a little bit of carb action. Those tomatoes upstairs are just about ready to go, so we'll we'll throw back a tomato and maybe a water too. Now, um, let's oh shotgun, yeah. Let's uh, let's equip our shotgun. Where did it go? Is it in here still? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, and we'll put the flashlight on the shotgun, which we do up here. I still don't know how to use, how do you do this black camo and gold trim? If you guys know how to, that works, let me know in the, in the, uh, the comments, because I don't know how to do that. Okay, cool. And here she is. Look at this, you guys. Double barrel shotgun goodness. Um, if you've never used this or seen this used before, it packs a punch. It's stronger than the normal shotgun, and you can fire two shots off in rapid succession, like bang, bang, you know, kind of thing. Um, and so it's very, it's a very, very powerful weapon. Now, of course, if you haven't killed whatever it is you're trying to kill within those two shots, you know, then you have to wait to reload it, and it is a, a slow reload time, relatively speaking. But yeah, I love the shotgun; it's a good weapon. Okay, so we got that done. Now, the next goal, of course, for weapons is going to be to get the lever action rifle. So we'll start working towards that. We need five ingots uh, to make that. I still have two ingots left over from our raid, so we could just make the other three. But we also need to get going on the cooking pot and the baking pan, and those are really expensive to make. Um, so, you know, I, and I got to thinking about something, too. When we raided the hunters, we got a lot of nails out of that raid. I know you can get nails from them, but I never really think about raiding them for the purpose of getting nails. And, yeah, we, we have over three uh, a full stack of nails now, which is why we're going to do some building uh, coming up next. So... You know, it's it's too soon, of course, for me to go hit them again. But you know, we're probably gonna hit them fairly soon uh, again. You know, just just to get more ingots for the stuff we need and and hopefully more nails. Okay, cool. Double barrel is here. Love it. Now, next thing is we're going to uh, do some building. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab. Oh, you know we're kind of low on boards. Well, let's just see how much we can do with the boards that we have. So we'll grab all of that. And um, the first thing I want to do is I want to, let's just look out here one last time. I'm trying to think of a, a, a of some kind of maybe lookout tower and possibly even some kind of an extension that goes out a little ways out from the base that when I see them coming, I can run to and fight them out there. And what that will do in theory is draw their attention to me and off the base uh, oh I left the door open so yeah I don't know I'm, I'm just kind of pondering possibilities along those lines I, I don't have anything solid uh, I did kill one of the hunters that attacked us earlier and they left us these stairs which is cool because we are gonna put those to use so the first thing we want to do is let's come over here and close that door and let's get rid of this. Well, not get rid of it, harvest it. Okay. And um, so we still, I still want to fill in over there. We don't really need to do that. I mean, in terms of defenses, we don't. But I kind of wanted to fill in the whole. You know what? Since we don't need to do that in terms of defenses, let's wait on, wait on that. I will eventually fill it in. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to get this little deck thing set up that I've been wanting to do. And then we're going to move our crop plots down below here. Okay. So we're going to want at least two more foundations. Actually, yeah, let's make two more. And then what I might do is take the stairs that the hunters delivered to us. 
and put those kind of in this spot so we can kind of quickly get down to the water very quickly fill up canteens and just fill the crops up and then i'm going to actually probably keep the canteens in a chest outside here um you know because there's no point in taking the time to boil the water even though you get more water when you do that but it also takes longer so then we just quickly fill everything up okay so let's put this guy in here like a so and let's put this one in here and you know I think uh, I don't know if I want to put one in there or not I'll tell you what let's make one and put it in there and just see what it looks like the reason I would do it is because then it kind of squares out the patio, but it is gonna some of it is gonna clip into the stone. So I guess it's just a matter of how how is that gonna look, uh, and will I be happy with it or not? We'll see. We'll see here in just a moment. Una momento. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I think that'll work. I think that will work. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna pop them in right there and so what that lets us do is line up our crop plots here and then I can just quickly run down fill up the water run back up and we're good to go now we could there's a couple things we could do here we could extend the the patio out even two more foundations if we do that though hmm okay Let me uh, let me pick this up again for a second. What would happen if we put that there? Okay, so we could still come down to this little corner and get the water there. Yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do. It's decided. So let's make two more foundations. It's starting to get dark on us. Uh, let's run over here real quick and see if anyone's going to show up. Nope, been pretty quiet today. The last attack I think occurred yesterday or last night in game night. Alright, so let's put this here. And we're gonna put another one there. And then I don't know. I don't know if we'll put another one here either. We'll see. There, so yeah, we can just come down here and fill up right there. And I think, uh, what if we, wait, we don't have, we don't have half foundations, do we? We do have half ceilings, though. I'm going to be making a bunch of half ceilings for other reasons, so let's make one now and pop it in there and just see what it does. We're going to have to use this light for now. Let's run back over here and take another peek. I wish the I wish cold games had an early warning detection system like you know motion sensor or something that you could set up to let you know they were coming. That would be kind of nice. All right, what does this look like if we if we flip this around here and just pop it in here? Um, mm, nah, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. We're just going to put another foundation in here. Okay, let's pick this up. And I'm going to move this out. Whoop, too far. Outside, because we're going to start making a walkway around uh, the outside for, for two reasons. One, so that I can walk on it and walk around the perimeter of the outside of the building while I'm fighting the hunters. And two, the hunters can, you know, tend to kind of get stuck underneath. Can we push that forward so it just latches on there temporarily? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Anyone coming? No, I don't think so. All right, now let's grab this and take it outside. And I want to put it right here. 
Okay, and so we're going to start doing uh, walkways all the way around here. May, well, I don't know that we need to do one on this side because I can jump down and stand up uh, without being in the water. So we might later, but not right now. The priority is to do it over on the other side where the water is deeper. Okay, cool. Let's go back over here now. Oh, by the way, we now have two full stacks of water, and we're a fourth of the way into the next one. So that's cool. All right, let's take this foundation here and pop it in here like so. And I like it. I'm a liking it. All right, how are we doing on boards? We only have 15 boards left. Um, Why don't we make some more boards? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the end of the island and cut all the all the wood that we currently have. And then I also have, you know, more wood, of course, in the base. I'm going to grab some of that and then get started crafting some more boards. And while the boards are crafting, we will we'll move our farm plots down. One of you guys were telling me in the comments, too, by the way, that you've been able to keep your crop plots out all winter outside and that they still grow. And I didn't think that would work, but what we could, unless I was doing something wrong or whatever, but what we could do is try it again and see if it actually works. So anyway, all right, I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get this wood gathered and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I decided just to wait till morning uh, before I brought you back so we all could see a little bit better. So the next thing we're going to do is head on upstairs here and we're gonna uh, harvest our crop plots first and then move them down yonder I'm just thinking about yeah no never mind okay so let's get these harvested first and I'll I'll replant them after we get them moved not that that matters used to be when you move a crop plot that had plants growing in it. Oh! Didn't even see those guys coming. Alright, let's go deal with these yahoos. Okay, he's good. He's going back around that side. Hold still, buddy. Okay, he's dead. Is that it? I think so. Okay, I'll grab that guy's stuff. And this guy's stuff. And uh, I don't know, did they... Did they grenade one of the... Ooh, they put some damage on that, okay. I can't remember if they threw a grenade or not. Um, our little walkway, of course, is damaged up a little bit. I don't see any visible damage anywhere else. I know they hit it with arrows a couple times, which does very minimal damage. Uh, let's. I don't want. I don't want to lose that walkway though. So let's grab. Oh, we need to make a hammer, actually, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's see. Cloth. We we'll need some of this and some of this. Alright, we'll put that back in there, and that can go in there. We'll put our tomatoes in there. The ammunition stuff can go in here. And those can go in there. Okay, so that gets us back to where we were. Uh, when that hammer is finished, uh, then we have, have some wood there that we can go fix that. Okay, alright, back to what we were doing. So, up here... Get the rest of the maters out of here. Now, I do have some glass, uh, and it's just glass and sandstone for that matter, that we've accumulated from loot. I haven't really gone out of my way to, um, to, to harvest it, but uh, I am going to turn the, 
this little patio down here into a greenhouse. I don't know if I have the stuff to do that right now, though. Let's put all of that up there. I've, oh, by the way, I've found a surprising number of cotton plants um, on my island. I mean, not, not like a ton, but I don't know. I've probably found three or four since the fall started. Uh, and, you know, considering how rare those are, that's kind of cool. Uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so, okay, we got the hammer done. Let's go repair the damage. And then we're going to grab our crop plots and move them down. Uh, so, yeah, we were talking about a greenhouse. Uh, it is my intention to put the crop plots in a greenhouse. Um, last time I tried to do that, though, in season one, the... Uh, no, that That's fine. That doesn't mean anything. The uh, the greenhouse seemed to actually block the light, and I didn't quite understand why, and I eventually just moved the crop plots back out of the greenhouse and put them, you know, in a different location. It didn't really matter so much because the uh, 1969, yeah, let's hit that one. Uh, it didn't really matter so much because I was able to you know, I just ran the lights on them all the time anyways, because uh, I could support it, you know, with the power and whatnot. But I just thought that was odd, you know, that the, the greenhouse wasn't, it was actually hindering the light. So it was just really weird. But I know this game can be a little, little bit weird about light anyways. So, you know, we'll build the greenhouse because I want to. I think it'll look cool. And if, if it does cause problems with the light during the day, then we'll just get the lights on all of the time and call it good, right? Not worry about it. I'm going to upgrade this to, uh, or armor it eventually to the metal. Well, actually, this whole entire corner and all the foundations and everything that supports it will eventually be upgraded to armor, as will our little walkways. But, of course, we're not there yet. Okay, so that takes care of all uh, the damage that they did. Let's check that. Did we check this? Oh, nope. They really like to aim for the stairs, but that makes sense because the BCU is behind the wall, and that's what they're actually attacking. In case you didn't know that. Uh, oh, let's... Yeah, let's tap that. I think I mentioned in a previous episode that as long as it's less than 10 points down, I don't I don't worry about repairing it. But if it's more than 10 points, then I typically will. Oh, there's an ammo crate out there. Let's grab this guy. Okay, cool. So, let's go upstairs and grab our crop plots. I am going to make a fourth crop plot too. Um, in fact, since we're working on the garden, can we just do that now? Yes, we can. Well, let's just get her done. Uh, we'll still have to get it upgraded, you know, and, and with efficiency and a light, but at least we'll get the plot itself in. That stuff can go in there. So let's just wait for this. Okay, so that's our first crap lot. Uh, we are going to also open things up over here, too, on this side of the building, so we can actually have an entryway on that side. So we'll see if we can get that to that today as well. Okay, so here's my here's my thought. Um, we'll probably make... Hmm. Just I'm think I'm I'm thinking for a second here. Bear with me. We're gonna want the in the greenhouse to end here so we can walk out and around the corner to grab water. So based upon that information, can we do this? Can we flip this around? Oh. Oh, okay, so the, the base extension thingy is going to be a factor too, isn't it? That's about as far as I can come this way. I don't want to put another one of those in. Well, you know what? We might have to eventually, though. Just, just trying to consider this here. Okay, well... 
The thing about, you know what? I'm just going to set that there for a minute. Uh, what does it need for a light upgrade? It needs two ingots, 80 mass, a rope, some scrap, and some circuit board. So we don't we don't have enough mass to do that yet. All right, so let's just leave that there for a moment, just temporarily, um, because I, I want to find out what side the light's on, and I don't remember that. Okay, so let's grab this. Is it on the side, the back of the thing when I'm f facing it this way? It is. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. All right, so let's grab this. What I think we're going to need to do... Ah, it's too bad we couldn't kind of clip it over the top of that stone there. But, yeah, I won't see it won't let me do it. It does that. Okay. Um, all right, what about, where's the edge of this foundation? It's going to be right here. All right, what if we put this about right here? Okay, and then we'll pick this one up. We know that when we get the light, it will be on the back side of this. So let's just pull it this way a little bit and put that one there. Okay. Because I think I have I have a plan for what how this is going to work. Let's go back upstairs here. Anybody coming? Nope. It's hard to catch those guys, man. I, I try, you know, I, I look a lot, but more often than not, they they come when I'm not not prepared for them to come. Okay. Now we're gonna put we're gonna line this one up as close as possible to that one there. But we're gonna move it to this edge. Okay, and then let's go grab the other one. Anybody coming? Nope. We're pressing the end key, not the delete key. Okay, and then this one we're going to put right about here let's also yeah line it up that way and then line it up this way good okay so now what we'll do is we'll build the greenhouse here across here and across here it'll just be a small greenhouse because I'm, I'm not planning on having more than four crop plots for the whole rest of this playthrough uh, and of course, you know, if, if I do change my mind about that, we can always uh, add more later. All right, do we have enough mass now to do this? Well, you know, the thing is, is I'm going to have to make another ingot. And that's going to even take more mass. So let, let's get that done first so we can let it start building up while we're working on other things. Oh, no, never mind. I guess I have two ingots. Forgot about that. Okay. How close is the mass? It's only at 24. Yikes. Okay. Well, normally I wouldn't do this, but I'd like to get that light on there. So let's um, run both Jennies. And let's turn this on. I don't have enough wood. This is all the wood I have. And um, I try and try not to drop below about 80 wood at any, any point in time. Uh, so I don't have enough wood to feed in here. So we're just going to do it the expensive way. Uh, so we'll get that build, building up. Um, so yeah, see, it, it takes a little bit more than we can produce, but it, it's close. So that means this isn't going to tank really bad uh, while that's happening. Okay, so let's put that in there. Put that back in there. Great. Now, the next thing is... Um, we'll, get that, we'll get this light put on here when we can get the 
the mass ready. And then I'll, I will also do um, the power efficiency uh, two. I'll probably just do that off camera. Now, let's get the crops replanted first before we do anything else. Um, and what I'm going to do here is let's actually pick this up and put it there. Okay, and then I'm going to move this door over to here because that will put it in the center and I'll probably move the window over too, which means we want to put uh, we're going to put a solid wall right here and a doorway here. And then this is also going to extend out this way. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be more of a porch uh, or will actually expand the building itself. The thing about this game is there's not a whole lot of equipment to it. I mean, there's a couple furniture pieces we could make. There's the lathe. We could make the diving machine if we wanted to, and we probably will just because we can, but that fits on a wall, so it doesn't really take up floor space. We should never need any more storage than, than what we have here, unless we uh, really wanted to store up a bunch of excess. Uh, again, stuff we could do in the later game when we're, when we're looking for things to spend our resources on. Uh, we're definitely not there at this point. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we're going to put the doorway here. And, of course, we need a door. And then that gives us access uh, out to our patio. I like this, guys. This is looking cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, let's go get our... Uh, let's get our seeds replanted. Okay, so we need 16 of these. No. Okay, and then... Just turn these all into seeds. And let's see, I've got cotton seed. Oh, crap. I have already had two tomato seeds. Dog on it. Okay, that's all right. We'll use them next time. Um, and then we have some cotton seeds and four carrot seeds, which is good because carrots are low. We, we got our potatoes up really, really good. So uh, we'll, we'll plant the four carrot seeds. And let's plant one more potato and three more onions. Okay. Uh, while we're at this, let's grab all of our waters and all of our current fertilizer, which is this and that, this and that. I don't have a, a bird out, out there yet. We got, oh yeah, that's another thing. It's on the to-do list. We got to get more birds. Okay, so we'll just make these two crop plots our maters. And let's do that and that and that and that. And that should get the fertilizer. Yeah, it's close enough. All right, and then this one is going to be caught. What we'll probably do with this one is we'll... We'll probably divide it up between cotton, potatoes, onions, and carrots. Uh, you know what we could actually do, though? Let's just go ahead and plant those extra tomato seeds. Why not? And we'll put the, uh, the carrots in here. Make sure that's full, and that's full, and this is full, and that's full. And see, the cool thing about this is we just come down here, we fill these up, and then run back inside and put the water in. And we don't have to mess with, you know, having having to boil it. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna put the, I was gonna put a chest out here for that purpose too. Uh, let's let's make a chest. Anybody coming? Nope, not on that side anyway. Let's get our door in here. Speaking of doors, what was I born in a barn? Okay. So let's make a chest for the extra canteens. I'll go ahead and boil a, uh, boil them now, or at least boil three of them right now. Uh, we could keep fertilizer actually out in that chest too, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. And seeds. Well, I don't know. It might be better to keep the seeds in here. We'll see. There's 
there's a bunch of different ways we could do it. Okay, how's our mask doing? All right, let's turn this off, and we should have enough stuff to put the light on. Uh, so I know we're going to need this, this, and this, and I can't remember what the other thing was that it wanted. Oh, a rope. That's right. Okay. Don't have a rope, so we'll have to make one with our sinew here. Got lots of sinew. Been killing lots of moose. Not really a whole lot of mountain lions, but just a lot of moose. Are we still in the rut? Nope. Uh, well, not we. <laughs> I hope we're not in the rut. Uh, rutting season is now over, so. I managed to kill, I think, three moose during the rutting season. Not that that matters. I mean, you can kill them any time, but. Okay, so we're going to have... We're going to have the greenhouse come out to... Yeah, I might actually reposition these later. But what we could maybe do... The greenhouse is going to... No, it's going to come right to the edge of there, isn't it? Okay. So why don't we put this right here. Try and make it nice and straight and more or less in the middle. And then we will store our extra canteens and our fertilizer, extra fertilizer, in here. Is that right in the middle? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, cool. All right, now let's do this and get the light on. Um, we're going to need two sinews and one more ingot to get the efficiency upgrade. You know what? Let's just bite the bullet and do that. Let's just get it done. Uh, so I'm going to make another ingot here. And then I'll just have to wait for, you know, everything to build back up again. Power mass-wise, that sort of thing, to finish that off. Very good. Okay, so how where are we at? We we have 12 boards left. Um, I think what I'm going to do with those remaining 12 boards is let's let's continue working on our oh we probably better put a ceiling in here, huh? Uh, I want to put an actual angled roof on here at some point, but we also have to decide what we're going to do with our um, our uh, you know solar panels. Uh, we are going to build um, a turbine or three at some point and I'd like to have at least one of those up by winter time you know because then it will get power during storms but our most immediate need is a ceiling or do we want to put a hatch in over here that could be useful that means we gotta make an uh, we're gonna have to make another ingot though now two more ingots all right I probably will do that but I'm not gonna do that right now right now let's just put a normal ceiling in And then, if we have whatever we have left after that, uh, board-wise, because again, I'm not going to go below what I have for wood, because um, I'm going to have to go out and have a big wood gathering session. Um, how many of these can we make? It looks like we can make two more. You know what? I lied. We're gonna we're gonna do one more board. Yeah, I'm gonna fudge just a little bit there, so we can do three more boards. Okay. Now you need to go in this way, I think to be lined up with everybody else. There we go. Yeah, I'll eventually turn this into a, a hatch. Why is it raining right here? It, se it seemed like it was raining right here for a second. I don't know, weird. Uh, okay, let's take the rest of these walkways and keep building this out and we will armor them as we continue to loot you know, the alloy plating and that sort of thing. So you want to flip this way and there, and looks like we can make two more. Nice. Okay, so flip this this way here. Um, we're going to probably have to do the little trick that we did on the other side to get this to work right, because I want... Are we done? No. Here, one more. You know how we put the foundation in at an angle to get it to attach? Uh, because I want it to wrap around here. But we don't have the resources to do that now unless I... Well, unless I borrow a foundation for a minute, which we could do. All right, let's pick this foundation up.
So what we want to do is we want to set it in... Oh, crap. I was hoping I could do that without falling off there. Come on, upsy daisy. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. I have an idea. Let's pop you there for just a second. And then let's take you and pull you back here. That way I have something to stand on. Okay, cool. We'll press end. Okay, so what we want to do is we want this to be lined up with the edge of that. And we want to pull it back towards us so it's... Yeah, right about there, I'm thinking. And then we want it to be right there. Uh, okay, is this going to actually work? I think it'll work. Can we now get you to snap right there? There we go. Okay. Then we pick the foundation back up. And we're going to need to do the same thing on this side. Which means here, I can actually step all the way back here. We want it right about there and just flush with that and into the wall. Okay. Let's do this. Let's jump up here and run and grab enough wood to make... Actually, let's grab enough wood to make two more of these. So we wrap it all the way around. Uh, we should be able to do that... Whoops. With just two trees worth. How many... Wait, how many planks does the, did these take? Oh, three planks. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, um, I went ahead and just cut all the wood on the island to allow us to make two uh, two more things. Um, we're, what we'll do is we'll move this stairs out when we put the, the final one there. I kind of don't like the corner of this sticking out, but I don't know if I can do anything about that. Um, I think we're going to just have to live with it. Unless the game would let me stick the foundation in a ways. But then this part wouldn't be quite as wide. Hmm, I don't know. I, I might mess with that at later at some point. We'll see. Let's get this down on our toolbar so we can all see what we're doing. Yeah, we got. I'm definitely going to have to get some lights out here. Okay, so now we should be able to make two more of these. And then that should wrap things up. I'm not going to try and do anything about this now. I might mess with it later. We'll see. It's, it is, it's a little bit of an eyesore, but I don't know. If the function of this is way more important than the form at this, at this point. Okay, now, the question here is, can I get this... Um, okay, turn it this way. Get it to snap. Yeah, just like that. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we... Uh, now what we want to do is put this last one... Flip it this way. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to... Oh! Hmm. That's interesting. It is going to actually need to go there if we want it to be in the middle of this, isn't it? 
Can I reach this from here? Pull it back. There we go. Alright. So, how did we... Oh, I know... Oh. Okay, hold on. Here. That's right. This side is not the same length as the normal board. Ah, that's right. I forgot about that. I wonder... What did we do over on the other side? Let's go look at that really quick. I know we're kind of going a little bit long in this episode, but sometimes that happens. Um, how did I do this over here? Oh, I didn't do it over here. Okay, <laughs> that explains that. Um, yeah, we didn't do it that way over there. All right, let's go back over here again. So, if I held that over a bit, what we might be able to do is... Just trying to think how, how the best to handle that situation. A little bit chilly, aren't we? Uh, we can make this work. I just have to get this foundation approximately in the center of this. All right, so let's pick this up. Um, actually, no, let's pick this one up first. And I'm going to put it... Yeah, we'll just put it right there. Okay, now let's pick this one up. And just put it there for a minute to move it out of the way. Oh, shoot. We're, we're like, hungry. Okay, hold on. Let's go get something to eat real quick. I want to finish, finish this up before I let you guys go, just so we can do it. Get it finished. So, again, apologize for the dark. I'll try and brighten things up a little bit um, with some gamma and editing. Okay, so let's eat that. And, uh... We're still going to need some more, so... How many onions do we have? Let's make some liver and onions. And we'll chow down on some tomatoes. Maybe four of those. And let's, um... Let's just do a berry water right now. I know, I should be saving those for when we're out in the field, but... I didn't, so you'll have to you'll have to just not let it bother you. <laughs> okay, let's put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. Okay, that, that takes care of us for the moment. I'll grab those liver and onions later. Hopefully I don't forget about them. I'm come back over this way. Alright, so let's grab this foundation here. Now, what we want to do is we want to get it in the center, as close as possible in the center. Of this wall. That's that's pretty close. It's not 110% perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay, let's pick this up. And flip it this way. And then put it there. All right. Now we'll grab our foundation and take it back and just put it back where it goes here. Okay, so what I can do with this is, oh, it's up a little high, isn't it? Oh, man. Well, 
okay, I'll mess with this off camera. But I might I might be able to patch these with a quarter panel, maybe. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. We might just have to leave it this way and call it good. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. That didn't go... No, 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 no. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We gotta, um... We gotta wrap things up here. Oh, right. Okay, so if I... I can hold this one further this way, and that one further that way. It's gonna create a bigger gap here but it might join them in the middle here. And then I could potentially, you know, maybe put a quarter panel in there to fix it. I don't know. I'll mess with it off camera. And I know I said, I, well, we, we got it functional. <laughs> we got it functional by the end of the episode. Um, but I'll probably mess with this a little more and see if I can make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and yeah, just mess with that off camera. Okay, you guys, we are done with today's episode. Let's look at one more thing really quick before I let you go here. And that is, can we do our efficiency upgrade? We have uh, we have the mass and power. We need to make... Did I already make another ingot? I can't remember. Let's go look. I think I did. Did I make that ingot? Aha, I did. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Um, now I got to go look again because I completely forgot what else it needed. <laughs> I was just looking at the ingot. Okay. Yeah, we just need two sinews, some scrap, and some electronics. Okay, two sinews, some scrap, and electronics. And that gets our efficiency upgrade done. And it is a beautiful thing. All right, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, guys, so we'll start working on uh, a greenhouse and... Um, I have a fairly decent amount of glass, but I believe the greenhouse pieces also... Okay, so they require glass adhesive and, ing and ingots, or some of them do anyway. Yeah. All right, so here's the thing. Um, the greenhouse is not absolutely essential. It's fun, but it's not essential. I, I want to save ingots uh, for our cooking ware that we need. Or I should say I want to start using ingots next for the cooking ware and for the lever action rifle. So it's going to be a little while yet before we we do the actual greenhouse. But we'll we'll eventually, that, that will eventually be the plan that we'll get a little greenhouse down there on our patio. Uh, but this looks really cool. I love it. Uh, I like the way this base is coming together. I really do. And so... You know, the next plan, building-wise, is to start expanding out a little bit more this way, uh, basically kind of covering over that rock. And like I said, I don't know if I'll, if I'll make that just a patio uh, or if we'll actually expand the building itself out a little more. And I also, you know, we could go out this way a little bit more, too, to cover up a little bit more of that stone. And I also want to go up, too. Uh, I envision some kind of a lookout tower Um you know, with this base where we can go up and then, you know, watch for the hunters coming or something like that. Practical? Not really. Fun? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. That is it, guys, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.